What's up everyone? Welcome to the Lavish Lifestyle channel. We are doing a new segment about reviews and this review today is going to be on the Cypress Cove Nudist Resort here in Kissimmee, Florida. It's where we've been staying for the past four months. How we are going to format these reviews is we are going to have eight different categories and these categories are going to be rated from one through ten. Then we are going to give the resort a entire rating of one through five stars. So let's go ahead and get started right into it. Go ahead and leave us a like guys, subscribe if you'd like, and leave us a comment. We love to read people's comments, we'd love to read your comment, and let's get right into the video. Our first category is prices. So for the prices we feel like they're fair, not too expensive, not too cheap, and uh, summer and winter we both have full hookup. RV, 50 amp, water, sewage. The only thing that changed were the prices for the summer rates, they had them at 400, and for the winter rates, they had them at 700. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why we had got these rates was because we had a, a membership also. If we did not have a membership, these rates would be more expensive. On top of that membership rate, we also had one time fee each of a gym membership, which did not come with a full membership, a separate. I personally did not like that, but that was $100 a person for a full year. Or it would have been $25 a month for each person. And we're here for like four months, so we, we just took the year, you know, just in case we wanted to come back. But that's a little shady to me. I feel like it should have been part of the membership. I mean, it's not shady. So overall, one through 10, we do give this a eight out of ten if the gym was part of the full membership then this would have been a nine or a ten category number two is going to be on the lot slash hookup so this basically rates the lots that we're at that we've been at for the past four months uh, i feel like for my particular rv the sewage hookup was a little far from my drainage pipe and I actually had to get an extension, which is, I mean, that's fine. That's something that's going to happen. But the lot itself is uneven ground. They had a tree right here, which is beautiful, provides some shade. But the roots really made the ground uneven in certain areas. Uh, for the drive parking uh, concrete area, they had just uneven concrete here and there, uh, cracks in the concrete. Uh, we did have a nice like picnic table that we've never really used, uh, but I got the canopy set up there, as you can see. The RV would unlevel sometimes so, because of how bad the ground is, and we're in the back. And they, they could have made the lot a little better, and I was not really happy with the lot that we got and the lots that they provided. So we feel like we wanted to give them a, a four out of 10 uh, for the lots. Basically because it's so uneven yeah. that we couldn't even level our RV correctly. It's still unleveled. Mm -hmm. and I tried many times. These doors were just slammed by themselves. Exactly. Now for category number three is trash accessibility. And this one's self-explanatory. You have to take out your trash yourself it's so accessible though it's maybe one minute walk the trash cans are like not that far away uh so we do give this trash accessibility a nine out of ten just because there's so many trash locations where you can put your trash at and they are very close so you won't have to walk much distance so we do give this a nine out of ten category number four is the restroom plus showers i feel like the restrooms are usually clean the showers are most of the time usually clean and the showers always have soap so we give this rating an 8 out of 10 just because there are so many restrooms and shower spots available as well very close proximity so you won't have to walk category number five 
is going to go to the pools and hot tubs. And I feel like we really enjoyed these pools and hot tubs over here. So they have two big pools. One is really deep, goes to like 10 feet. Um, the other one is like more of a conversational pool. A cute little waterfall in the middle of it. The hot tub is pretty cool too. It is one outdoors and there's one indoors. The one that's indoors, it has bromine and it gets a little hot in there. Me and Rose feel like we favorite the one outdoors because that's also chlorine in that one. But since it's outside and not boxed in, it doesn't get as hot. But the one outdoors is smaller, significantly smaller than the one that's indoors. So which was a downside so they do keep the pools heated also which we loved um when they got a little chilly down here we found ourselves relaxing in the pool the area around the pool itself is very pretty they got palm trees around the area they got lots of chairs surrounded by the pool so you can get your tan on but they also sanitize the pools and hot tubs twice a week so that's good because of you know the COVID epidemic going on you know they really try to push to keep it clean now i do wish that the hot tub was bigger on the outside and for that reason we give this a 9 out of 10 rating uh but still spot on great pools and hot tub that is the only reason and the pools and hot tubs, they open at 7 a.m. So if you're an early bird, you can definitely get yourself a spot. And yeah, the, that's one of the most places we hanged out here in the cove yeah. is the hot tubs. Till 11 p.m. That's when they that's when they close. Uh, before the pandemic, I'm pretty sure it was later. But yeah, good enough. So for category number six, it is the restaurant. And the portions are fairly great you could actually share your portions or save half of it for later they're fairly large and the prices are great so we give the restaurant a eight out of ten sadly we weren't able to try the restaurant by the lakeside although the one by the poolside worked out now for the second to the last category category number seven we have the amenities and due to covid the amenities kind of were less just because they did have a second restaurant that we never could experience that they would have live music at. Other things you can do at the Cove is you can relax by the lake, take a stroll. There's a beautiful view by the lake. You can see all the beautiful birds. You can maybe even have a glance at a couple of alligators. There are hammocks. There is also a dock that you can go to. And by the lake, you can bring your jet skis or you can bring your own boats. There also is paddleboarding for you to do. And they also have like the manual boats where you like do it yourself. By the lake, you will see birds, squirrels. We actually fed a couple of squirrels. And there is also a dog park. If you do have a dog, they have a little dog park, which is great. If you have animals, there is also a beach area on the lake where there's sand, you can put your toes in. All in all, the lake is a very great place to relax at and to basically have your fun time. There's also a tennis court, pickleball court, a volleyball net, and there is also a basketball court. It's very close to the lake, so there's so many things outdoors that you can do you can play cornhole on certain days i don't know the exact days but you can and you could also play the horseshoes if you'd like there is also table tennis they have a little room area for table tennis and for last but not least there is also a gym so the gym is very well equipped i'm sorry if i'm everywhere there's just like so many things you can do at the cove which is great at the cove you will never get bored every day is a new day where you can learn new things and all in all we give all the amenities at the cove a 10 out of 10 because that just it keeps everybody interactive and it's a beautiful thing so for the last category number eight are the people um we feel like the people here are very respectful 
of all ages, even the kids, all the way up to the very elderly, everyone's pretty much respectful. The staff here at Cypress Cove are very helpful and very informative. When we first got here, we had a whole tour of the entire resort. Such a great time. And yeah, we will give it a 9 out of 10. Exactly, 9 out of 10. It's very family oriented here at the Cove. There's definitely like little clicks here and there. You will always find yourself meeting somebody new and hanging out with them for the day, which is pretty great. Now let's get into our full rating for Cypress Cove Nudist Resort. We give it a... 4 out of 5 stars. 4 out of 5 stars, exactly. And I feel like we stick by this rating. Four out of five stars. Sounds right for Cyprus. Mm -hmm. So that is our rating for the Cypress Cove Nudist Resort. If y'all have stayed here and y'all had a great time, let us know in the comments. We love reading y'all's comments, each and every single one. And if you're ever in the Florida area, go ahead and make sure to check it out. Maybe even for a day, they also have villas very affordable prices for days and thank you for watching you have a great day and live lavishly everybody